Hello everyone, welcome to Mark Books video, in which today we will be discussing on transaction locking. With this feature, you can lock any of your transactions for a specific time period. This includes sales, purchases, sale returns, purchase returns, receipts, payments, and so on. For example, suppose you want to restrict your operators or admin from making any changes to the entries made until today's day, including sales, purchases, receipts, payments, and so on. In that case, you can use the transaction locking option of Mark Books to lock the transaction module according to your requirement. This will prohibit operators or administrators from modifying or deleting any locked transaction module. For that, we will come to the menu bar, then to Utilities and Tools and then come to the Other Tools module. Then click on this transaction locking feature. So this type of transaction locking setup will be displayed to you. Now to lock any transaction, click on the lock button provided in the respective transaction. For example, we want to lock the receipt transaction. So we will click on the lock button given in the receipt module. Then this lock receipt name window will open. Now bring the cursor to the lock date field. Here we will tell you that you cannot lock any of the transaction in the future date. You can only lock back dates transactions. Now, to lock the receipt until a specific date, you will need to select the date from the calendar. If you want then you can also switch in the previous month by clicking on the less than sign. And with the help of this down key, you can also switch in the previous year and can lock any of the transaction. For now we will select current date. That is, we want all the receipt vouchers generated before today can be locked. After that, in reason field, we will enter the reason for lock this transaction. And you can give any remark according to you and then click on the lock button. This way, the selected transaction module will be locked and you can still edit the locked transaction by clicking on the edit icon. You can also see the drop down option in place of the lock button, in which you will have two options that is, unlock partially or unlock completely. With unlock completely, you can unlock the locked transaction completely. On the other hand, if you want to partially unlock a transaction, means you can manage the locked transaction according to your needs by setting a date range, like as you can see here in unlock partially. Date from to date to field is given, where you can select the date range for the transaction that you want to unlock. Then, mention the reason in the remarks and click on the unlock button. This will unlock all the receipt transactions within the selected date range. And in this way, partially unlocked transaction will be mentioned ahead of that particular module accordingly. You can lock or unlock any transaction, partially or completely, one by one as per your requirement. Additionally, you can also lock all the modules at once. To do this, click on the slider given before. Do you wish to lock all the modules? And select the freeze date from which you want to lock these modules. You will see that all the selected modules are now locked until the selected freeze date. In this way, you can use the transaction locking option in Mark Books. Thanks for watching.